Okay. This is basically a street legal drag car here. It's a, a 1970 Chevy Chevelle full roll cage, bucket seats, Pro Series uh, carburetor, turbo, 350. No power steering on this one. Aluminum heads, aluminum radiator, electric fan, no power brakes. This one runs on E85. And yes, again, it's set up for the strip. Pretty nice car otherwise, the paint looks decent. Um, either way, I'm gonna be picking out flaws for you. They've done put the fuel cell in the trunk and got it all set up. Be sure to look at the 100 detailed pictures inside out and underneath. You can go see that at maplemotors.com. You can get pre-approved the financing on something just like this. I also ship it to your front door. For now, hit subscribe, share this video. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so uh, before we take off, I mean, I don't even see a horn button, so we're not gonna be placing bets on the horn on this one. Steering wheel over here. And of course we got our setup here. Shifter, bucket seat somebody put in here. Look around the interior. This thing that does not have a headliner in it. Seat belts. It's like a window net. All right, so we've got fan. Gas. Ignition. Aftermarket gauges. Let's start it. All right. I don't see the wipers working on this one. Exhaust isn't very loud. Turn signals up there. It's like the knobs are new, but I don't see them blinking on the dash. Still call them. Pretty simple. I don't know if that gauge is hooked up at all, but I guess we're gonna go ahead and hit the road, guys. Let's see what's, uh, what's gonna happen with this. Well, I got my seatbelt on now. Mirrors mounted on these bars. You can see out a little bit crooked there. We got her warmed up. She's at 176. This is the first time that I've personally driven this ride. Manual valve body. Feels better. It feels manual. Let's double check it, but it feels manual. So we got manual valve body here. Checking everything out. Brakes feel pretty good. 
slack in the steering. It usually happens when you don't have power steering. so low on the undercarriage I'm just gonna slide you up under let's see how this works
Here we go, guys. We're going to be walking around this ride, picking out chip scratches, rust and dents. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Let's get started. It's coming around the front end here. We got some chips. Obviously, the bumper is painted on this one. Spot there. Scuffs. Tires are in decent shape. Wheels look good. Over the fender. Dent right here in the trim. Little bubbles on the edge of the door. Chips at the bottom. Corner here's got some chips too. Dings on the trim. Chip over here. Chips there. Little specks on the side of the car. Spot there. <coughs> you got a plate right there. Front windshield. Got a chip. Spot up in the corner. Cracks here. Checking around on the vinyl top there. That looks pretty solid. Spots there on the back. Chips up here in the top corner. A little wax left over there. Back bumper on this one. Fuel switch. Cracks right here. And I already unlocked the trunk. The problem is it doesn't stay up by itself. But we'll go ahead and open her up. You can see a patch there on the vinyl top. Opening this up. Oh, she's heavy. Off to my battery, fuel pump, gas tank, dynamat. Well, similar. Kill mat. And your uh, trunk jams need a seal. There's a little spot there. We've added some spacers in here. Got some chips on the edge. Coming down with the trunk lid. She's heavy, but she shut good. Coming down this side. A little spot there. Got some runs here. Little bubbles in the corner of that door. Up here in the front too. Got some dimples. Paint trying to chip out there. Crack up here. Spots there. 
big old scuff. Yeah, they got the wrong motor size on the side of the car. It's also not an SS. And chips. They tinted the back window, but it's got some weak spots peeling up. Spot in the corner there. Dimples, cracks. Mirror on this one's a little bit pitted. Chips. Spots here. Looking around on the front, like I said, they put a big plate here. No windshield wipers. Scratches on your front windshield. Wrinkles, the vinyl top there. All right, let's go ahead and check out that interior. Door locks missing there on top. Door panel, they took the armrest off. Rips on the edge. A little rip at the bottom there. trim piece missing inside the door jam. Your seat does have a rip here. Carpet in this one a little faded. Get around your headliner. It's not bad. interior here we'll go ahead and start it up you basically just fall in the car <laughs> you don't need a steering wheel either <laughs> not to start it I always cut the fans on even though it's staying this thing was averaging 150 see cracks in the dash spot on your door panel over here Ashtray's not staying up, correct? Get a little gas. Left over. Got 
guys, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video. Detailed pictures, financing and shipping is available at maplemotors.com and I do this every day. So be sure to share and hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Later.